welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. I just got in my car, I just left work, and today I am getting ready to go home into my garage to meet a lady who is from Florida. Her name is Marsha. I've never met her before. She just started a YouTube channel and she started with resin art. And she said she learned a lot off of me, which made me feel really good and special. And um, she's coming up to Pennsylvania and she wanted to do a painting with me. So I thought, sure, why not come to my house and we'll get together. So I'm um, going to go home right now, get in my garage and meet Marsha and we're going to do a painting. So wish me luck. Hi guys, welcome to another video of Monica Barnes Art. Today I have a friend here from Florida. Her name is Marsha and her YouTube channel is Marsha's Mixed Media. You have to speak up so they can hear you. <laughs> Marsha's Mixed Media. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? So, I <laughs> know, uh, I'm just going to well. cut that part out and then right. we'll, okay. And her YouTube channel is? Marsha's Mixed Media. There you go. So, if you want to check her out on YouTube, go to her channel, show her some support. Okay, so today we're going to do a beach theme because Marsha... Like I said, lives in Florida and brought me some Florida sand. So, voila. We're going to get started with this. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to um, acrylic paint these real quick because it is raining outside. I don't want to go out in the rain because usually I'll spray paint the front and back so we don't get bubbles. But we're going to um, just paint the front and back right now. That way... Because if you don't prime these, these are pine, and when it's soft wood, you'll keep getting these bubbles that keep popping up and you can't get rid of them. But if you do the front and the back, you won't get the bubbles. That's what we're gonna do right now. So we planned on doing a beach scene, both of us, because we have all this sand we can use. So we have all our resin mixed up, we have all our pigments mixed up, and we are using Rolio Mica Pigments awesome colors if you haven't tried them you have to and resin from the epoxy resin store if you put the code in monica20 if you visit their website you'll get 20 percent off of your order so right now we're ready for the resin i poured a little bit of clear resin onto my board and i'm using the torch to heat it up and marcia's setting up so she can do the same thing with her board So we have respirators on and we cannot understand a damn thing the other one's saying. So we're using a lot of hand motions at this time and you'll see that throughout the video. It's pretty funny. I can't hear a word she's saying and she can't hear a word I'm saying because of these respirators. I have personally never used sand in any of my resin before. So Marsha was telling me how to mix it up. So I put a little bit of sand in the bottom of my cup and then poured the resin in and I just stir it together. Marsha is just using regular sand with resin on her board. She is mixing it up and now she's gonna pour it onto her board. I personally don't want to use just regular sand. I want to add a little bit of resin and color in mine. So I had to stand back and watch her do it for a minute because I've never done it before. So I wanted to see how it was applied to the board. Hopefully this is the right texture and mixture. And she told me it was. So I'm just going to watch her as she applies it onto her board and shows me how to do it. Because she's from Florida and lives near the beach, I'm sure she's done quite a few pieces with sand and resin. As Marsha is continuing to put sand on her board, I start putting pigments onto mine. I am using red, orange with a little bit of yellow. I will do um, some white and I th was thinking maybe about adding resin and some purple pigment into my sand just to give it a little bit of something. I just don't want a beach scene myself. I want something a little bit different. 
Marsha's using traditional blues with turquoise for her beach scene. She also used a chameleon color on the top of her board. It looks almost like a brownie red, but it does shift into blues. Now I'm gonna show you my sand. I did add a little bit of the Rolio mica pigment in there, it's some purple. And now I'm gonna start applying it to my board. We are both finishing up at this point. We're both adding white to our piece. I'm using a torch, she's using the heat gun, and then we switch over a little bit. I'm pushing her pigments around a little bit just to show her how I use the heat gun. So we're both learning a little bit off of each other. I thought it was pretty cool. She showed me how to, she used sand on a board and I showed her how I pushed my pigments around. So I noticed at the end when I was finished, my purple didn't look like sand. I thought it would look like purple sand, but it actually just looks like the color purple on a board. So I'm not sure if I'll be using that sand technique anymore. But Marsha's looks like real sand and the real beach. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me that thumbs up and ring that bell for notifications on my next video. Hit me up on Instagram at Monica Barnes Art or Facebook at Monica Barnes Art. Or if you're an artist, any type of artist at all, it doesn't have to be resin. You can share your artwork on. It's all about art, mixed media, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with Marsha. Okay, so we are finished. Yay! <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun hanging out with Marsha from Florida. And I'm so glad you stopped by to see me. And I had I had a blast. So what do you think? It was a lot of fun. Great. All right. <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video.